The first step is called an ovarian hyperstimulation. In this, when you come to the doctor at day two or day three of your cycle, we would start on injections to stimulate your ovaries to produce as many oocytes as possible. So the ultimate number of oocytes that we retrieve will depend on the injections and the protocol and it will vary according to patient to patient. So one protocol or injection will not apply to the other person. The next step is you have to come for the oocyte retrieval. So usually this over, uh, after the ovarian hyperstimulation, once your oocytes are mature enough, we would be retrieving the oocytes in a lab setup in, with the inside an uh, operation theatre. We will be do using a very fine needle to retrieve your oocytes and this will be given to the embryologist to culture in the lab after fertilization. The third step is the embryo culture. This procedure is done exclusively in the lab under the control of the embryologist and the clinician wherein your oocyte which is being injected by your partner's sperm would be cultured in the lab for up to three or five days and this procedure uh, as far as the patient's profile is concerned it depends on, again on the patient's oocyte factor as well as the sperm factor. The final phase of IVF would be the embryo transfer. This is usually done in another cycle and very rarely in the, in the same cycle as that of the oocyte retrieval because within this procedure, we will be preparing your endometrium to receive the embryo that we are going to put it in. So these are the four, four stages of IVF procedure.